let's see how to add custom recipes to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom recipes to Minecraft. Now, how does that work? Well, this works through JSON files once again. So this is going to be, well, in a new directory. So instead of in the assets directory, we're going to create a new directory in the resources. So right click new directory called data or data. And then inside of there, we're going to create a new directory once again called tutorial mod. So this needs to be our mod ID. Make sure that this is written correctly. And then inside of there, we're going to create a new directory called recipes. So once again, this has to be written correctly. So make sure that it is. And then the question is, well, what are the recipes like? Well, first of all, before we're going to start and make a recipe, I have the greatest resource to share with you. And that is the external libraries down here. So if we expand this and we just go down all the way to this right here, net Minecraft project and so on and so forth, right? If we expand this one in the data folder, in the Minecraft folder, in the recipes folder, all of the vanilla recipes are available to you. There's literally no reason to ever ask, hey, how does this work? You can all look it up. So basically, all of the vanilla stuff, if you have an exact match with your recipe for a vanilla recipe, so for example, let's say you have added a new door. How do I make a new door? Hmm, how could you do this? Well, how about we take a look at the birch door and all of a sudden we can see how it looks like and we can just use it. That's actually how easy it is. Nothing else to it. So highly recommend taking a look at this, the external libraries. You can copy over stuff from here. So for example, I'm just going to take the copper block, for example, and I'm just going to copy it. So I'm going to just select it, press control C to copy it. And then I'm just going to go back up to my recipes here, control V. And all of a sudden you can see I can paste it in. Now, this is going to be, of course, the mithril underscore block, right? Because we want to craft the mithril block and we're going to need to, to do some changes in here. But no worries at all. So the type in this case is a shape recipe. This should be fairly self-explanatory. A shape recipe is simply that the recipe has to be consistent with a particular pattern right here. And the pattern, as you can see, consists of three strings, all of length three. Now, this here represents the crafting table. This shouldn't be too crazy, right? There are three strings, all of length three. So of course, it is three by three. So nine slots exactly like the crafting table. So if we were, for example, to put in a space in here, then all of a sudden the middle slot in the crafting bench would have to be empty. So that's all that there is to it. And you can ch change this. So if we go back to the Burge door, you can see that we only have two length of two in this case, which also kind of makes sense when you think about it, because we can put this pattern on the left or the right side of the crafting bench, and it works for both. So that's pretty much the general idea here. There is nothing else to it. Highly recommend looking at the external libraries, look at all of the recipes that you have available there. It is the best resource for this that it exists. And when it comes to your own recipes, well, what do we do? Well, we just have to change the item here. So this hashtag, right, is representative of a particular item. And the item here is defined right here. So currently it is Minecraft copper ingot. Now that's of course not quite right. We want tutorial mod colon mithril underscore ingot. That's totally fine. What do we want the result to be? Well, of course, we don't want it to be Minecraft copper block. We want this to be tutorial mod colon mithril underscore block. And there you go. Now we have created the recipe. That is actually how easy it can be. Now, what's very important is that the recipe here, the name does not have to match with the result. That's very interesting. So if you go down, you can once again, for example, see stuff like andesite wall from stone cutting. We can see baked potato from campfire cooking. Because of course there's different types of recipes. So you can see there's the campfire cooking recipe. There is the smoking recipe. For example, if we go further down once again to the copper stuff, we can see, for example, we have stuff from a blasting copper ore. We have stuff from blasting deep slate ore, and so on and so forth. So what is very important is that there are different types. Once again, everything here is available to you. You literally just have to look at it, copy it over, and use it in your own folder. That's pretty much all that you need to do. For the mithril block, we're going to keep this. And then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to copy over another JSON file that I already prepared. This is all available to you in the GitHub repository and in individual gists as well. And this is the mithril ingot from block, as you can see. And this is now a shapeless recipe. This means that I can put these ingredients in any order into the crafting grid that I like. And this is going to be the result that I'm going to get. Now, the first thing that you will notice is that we have a count here, meaning that you can, of course, specify the count of how many, well, result items you want to get 
that's pretty much how easy this can be. And well, when the ingredients, like I said, this is just a list. So in theory, you can also add multiple items here. Once again, there are plenty of examples in the recipes folder from vanilla. Highly recommend going down there and taking a look at this. But for our two examples here, let's just see whether or not it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft. So let's see if I can actually craft the block and I can craft the block. And as soon as I have crafted it, you can see that new recipes have unlocked. So this will be added automatically to the well recipe book right here. And let's see if I can go the, the way back and I can. So you can see I can craft both of them, either the block or the actual ingots back. So exactly how you would expect it to. But like I said, that is pretty much how easy it can be. Once again, I will keep mentioning it the external libraries everything is in here so if you're like but how does it how can i add a recipe to the to smelting you're just going to take a look at for example the copper ingot from smelting copper ore and there you have it everything in here no need to worry about anything everything is available to you this is the best resource i can highly recommend taking a look at it but that would already be for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you in the next tutorial so yeah